that people in Connecticut selected who they want on the ballot last night for the November elections. The Democrats kicked off their convention in Harford. Friday night, they made their first pick officially nominating Senator Richard Blumenthal as their candidate for U.S. Senate. Today, candidates for other offices were chosen to fill the remaining positions, including Governor Ned Lamont. Susan Beisowitz for Lieutenant Governor. William Tong was endorsed for Attorney General. State Representative Sean Scanlon for Comptroller, State Representative Stephanie Thomas for Secretary of the State, and Eric Russell for Treasurer, who told us what he would do for the state of Connecticut. I think the important thing is making sure that we are advocating for hardworking families across the state. Uh, the role of the treasurer is obviously to make sure that we're fiscally sound and stable, um, but I think that that's, more, that's bigger than just maximizing returns or managing debt. Um, it's also about seeking out opportunities uh, for uh, hardworking people in the state. It's about uh, finding ways to build more um, sustainable and livable communities. On the Republican side, their convention was held at the Foxwoods Casino. Bob Stefanowski receiving the state Republican Party's endorsement for governor of Connecticut. This is his second run for governor after losing to Governor Ned Lamont in a close race back in 2018. State Representative Laura Devlin was endorsed for Lieutenant Governor Friday as well. As for today, these are the candidates that have been endorsed. Norwalk Attorney Jessica Cordes for Attorney General. State Representative Harry Aurora for State Treasurer. Treasurer Dominic Rapini for Secretary of the State, West Hartford Councilwoman Mary Fay for Comptroller, and former House GOP leader Themis Claritis for U.S. Senate, who spoke to us through Zoom today on her endorsement. You have inflation. I mean, you, you just, these are working class people problems, right? Chicken and fish and meat and vegetables and citrus. I mean, anything you buy on a daily basis has gone up 10, 15, 20% in the past year or so. We know what the price of gas is. People don't feel safe in their homes. They don't, they don't believe that the border is safe. Um, and certainly it's about having control over your own lives, especially parents having control over their kids' lives. And those are all failed Biden Blumenthal policies. Conventions for both the Democrats and Republicans ended today. Candidates on both parties say there is a lot of work to be done with just about six months until people can head to the polls to cast their votes.